Hey everyone, Evelyn here. Today I'm trying out something a bit different with this video. Sometimes I feel like I get too focused on the technical aspects of trading. Sure, I'm always bringing you new strategies and market analysis, but I realized I'm missing that human connection and exchange of experience, you know, something beyond technical analysis. I just want to sit down, turn on the camera and have a heart to heart with you about trading. Just share my thoughts, you know. And yeah, they might be obvious, but not all of you are seasoned pros. I know that there are beginners watching me too. Even my Telegram channel, which was originally meant to be a way to connect with subscribers, has turned into a huge community where traders discuss strategies, talk about increasing profits, where I share tons of profitable signals every day to help fellow traders grow. But I don't want us to lose sight of the fact that we're all people not just money-making machines. I just want to say that your feedback, your stories and your comments mean so much to me. When I hear that my advice has helped you improve in any way or that you've stopped making that one mistake by following my lead, it really gives me strength. It gives me the reason to carry on. So keep those messages coming. Keep sharing your stories and thoughts because this is what motivates me. Today I've decided to talk to you guys about what not to do in trading. Seven no goes every trader should avoid. I believe anyone could benefit from this advice. Whether you are just starting out or you have a solid experience yet facing challenges in binary options trading. I really feel like these insights are valuable for everyone. First advice, do not envy and do not compare yourself to others. First thing I want to share might seem a bit strange or too straightforward, but it's really important. It's about envy and comparing yourself to other traders. While being part of the trading community is great, it's easy to get caught up in comparing yourself to others. But I'm telling you right now, do not fall into the trap of envy and constant comparison. Don't get me wrong, sometimes envy can be a source of motivation, pushing us to improve when kept in check, of course. But when it's excessive, it creates an unhealthy environment where everyone is just waiting for others to fail. Comparing yourself to others is a recipe for disappointment because there will be always someone who is doing better. This mindset is destructive and does not help you grow in any way. This can lead to a fear of making mistakes and as a result, a fear of taking risks. So. It's important to recognize that each trader is unique and we all have our own paths to success. So here's my message, especially to those who have been trading with me on Telegram for a while now. Don't get caught up in comparisons and don't let envy get the best of you. Instead, put your focus on your own growth. That means not just learning new strategies and uh, techniques, but also putting them into action. Embrace mistakes as part of the learning process and never judge other traders for theirs. This is how you build stability and confidence. Stay focused on yourself, your progress and your journey. That's what really matters. Advice number two, be honest with yourself. The second tip ties directly into the first and is all about being real with yourself and not getting caught up in illusions or trying to jump ahead just to feel better. Don't fall into the trap of trying to level up just to stroke your ego or keep up with other traders. If you're just starting out and your profits are more like pocket change compared to what big traders are making, don't beat yourself up over it. Instead of getting all worked up about the success of experienced traders, take a good hard look at yourself. Admit where you are lacking and what your actual strong sides are. If you find yourself lacking in market knowledge or your skills need some work, it's best to concentrate on learning and improving rather than uh, getting caught up in comparing yourself to others and pretending to be better than you are. And if you mess up with the market analysis and end up losing money, don't sweep it under the rug and act like nothing happened. Own up to your mistakes, analyze them and learn from them. That's how you grow in this game. I speak from personal experience, which is why it is so important for me to address the common mistakes beginners make that actually cause 99% of traders to lose money early in their journey. For my Telegram subscribers, I carefully consider these factors before sharing the signals I trade myself on my Telegram channel. The third advice, find your strategy and make millions with it. Next. 
This is an important point that may seem obvious, but is vital. Don't stop using what really works for you. Sometimes we develop a strategy that's uniquely ours and brings great results, but we abandon it too fast in search of something new. Many traders are constantly coming up with new strategies, and we may be tempted to move on to the next one that seems more interesting. However, sticking with a simple yet effective strategy doesn't make us unprofessional. After all, a professional is is not someone who knows all the top strategies and trades in a new way every day. No, a professional is someone who trades every day, period. Even if it's been 10 years using the same strategy. The key is to find a strategy that works for you and develop its potential to the maximum. Advice number four, share your knowledge and experience. It's super important, not just to use good strategies, but also to share your experiences with others. When you teach someone else, you can learn a lot about yourself both what you're good at and where you mess up. So don't forget about how important using solid strategies is and keep getting better at trading. Let me tell you, running my Telegram channel with 15,000 subscribers has really upped my game. It's made me super sharp with my forecasts and helped me stay disciplined. And the numbers back it up. My win rate is 88.9% and my subscribers are collectively pulling in 600k dollars a day just by copying my trades. Advice number five, no pain, no gain. This advice might sound a bit like life wisdom, but it's super crucial in trading. Don't be afraid of getting out of your comfort zone and taking a risk. In the trading world, everything revolves around risk. I've seen loads of traders jump in expecting steady returns, but the truth is there are no guarantees here. Your paycheck is insecure. Profits aren't promised. You could end up with nothing or even in the red, or you might hit the jackpot. The uncertainty and this feeling of the unknown when you don't know how to keep your profits or make them grow, being scared of losing, that's all part of trading. Beginners often act under the influence of emotions, entering the market too early or too late or simply retreating from fear instead of making informed decisions. However, it is in these moments of discomfort and fear that we actually grow. Think about driving a car. It seems scary at first, but over time you get used to the routes and traffic rules. But when you find yourself on an unfamiliar road or in uh, difficult conditions, you might feel discomfort and fear again. And this motivates you. The same thing happens in trading. Every new deal, every new tool evokes new emotions and it is important to understand them, learn lessons and grow and not let emotions take over reason. Advice number six, baby steps towards a big goal. Another important point, if I've shared a strategy with you that works for me, don't feel pressured to invest all your savings into it right away. Start small when experimenting with something new. Many subscribers of my Telegram channel began their journey with just $1 investment and are now earning over $700 a day. They initially copied my trades with small investments or just a couple of dollars. Now now, a lot of them have started their own channels and have become my close colleagues. We often discuss uh, various trading issues together. Once again, don't rush to make a fortune in a single trading session. Take it step by step. Try out different strategies, settings, um, and approaches with small investments. Discover what works best for you. Remember, you won't make millions in just one session, but with wise decisions and a few minutes of your time, you can start building towards that first part of your future million. Advice number seven, set realistic goals. Here is another important tip, please. Try not to set overly ambitious goals every day, because that can create unnecessary pressure, which isn't helpful. Whether it's aiming for an unrealistically big profit or trying to change your life overnight, setting delusional goals, especially on depression, that can lead to big mistakes. The market has its own flow and boundaries. You can't force it to bend to your will. Putting too much pressure on yourself can lead to avoidance or fear of trading, preventing your progress. Instead of fixating on results, focus on the learning journey. Every trader is different and everyone's path to success is unique. This is all I wanted to tell you and I hope you enjoy this type of video where I just talk about things that I think are important for traders. Finally, I'd like to share a thought I'm completely certain about. Trading is one of the most accessible paths to change your life. In the world of binary options, trading, finding a reliable guide is 
key to clarity and safety. That's why I created my Telegram channel with around 15,000 traders earning over $600,000 daily using my signals. New subscribers are joining basically every day. If you've been considering trading, don't hesitate to subscribe. I'll personally guide you through using Pocket Option step by step and for free. You'll grasp it in just a few days and start earning. Channel subscribers simply copy my trades and profitable strategies. My win rate is 88.9%, meaning 9 out of 10 trades are profitable. You'll also find reviews from those already profiting from my signals. If you're interested, find the link in the description or in the pinned comment below the video. If not, I'm still glad you watched this video to the end and hope you enjoyed it. That's all for today. Keep in touch and see you soon.